Hi, Natalie. Hi. Nice to see you. It's been a while. I know it has been a while. Um, I wanted to ask if you would tell the viewers a little bit about your experience with the reading with Susan Allen Medium. Um, I somehow stumbled upon you on Instagram. I have no idea how. And I felt compelled to book a session with you. I thought that maybe you'd be some sort of a psychic or you'd read my tarot cards. I just, I wanted to work with you. So I booked the session and then I got an email from you reminding me of the session in a few days. And the email had said, have someone in mind that you want to contact. And then I realized you truly are a medium and we will be talking to someone in spirit. And I had someone in mind, someone who I'd been talking to a lot as I made some life changes. And I hopped on the call with you. I had no idea what to expect. At first, you know, I couldn't even see your face. You just hopped on the call and you said you didn't want to get distracted by my face or my expression, but you popped in and said, hello. And then I think we, I closed my eyes and you got the person that I was trying to reach on the first try. Oh, wow. And, um, I didn't, I don't know if I ever wanted to have a medium reading. I don't know if I believed in them, but there I was. And, um, you just knew these details that there's no possible way you could have known. And I was looking for a bit of direction, probably more comfort than anything at that point in my life. So this was over two years ago. And I just got information from you um, that was through through my grandfather, basically, that just gave me a lot of comfort. It calmed me down. And there was, I mean, it wasn't a psychic reading, but there were a couple of things that you said to me through him, or he said through you, that would happen in my life. And I thought, no way. And they all- Such as? <laughs> Please so, tell everyone. Oh my goodness. I think this is adorable. Um, so you, As met, you rolled your eyes, you said- I definitely rolled my eyes. Definitely okay. a lot of, a lot of times I rolled my eyes, um, I had a session with you in June, 2021. And a few weeks earlier, I had quit my job as a physician working in a hospital setting. And I remember telling you, because I re-listened to the recording and I remember telling you, I quit my job and you said, that's great. And I thought, okay, you know, maybe she knows something I don't know. And I told you what I wanted to do, which was teach online. I didn't know how that would come about. And one of the first questions you asked me, um, it was through my grandfather, is, are you artistic? And I said, no, not really. I'm creative, I think. And I was trying to hire artists for my business. And it was becoming very difficult to tell them what was in my head and have them create things for me. And you said, no, you're going to be an artist. And I kind of brushed it aside. I thought, okay, whatever. I don't know what that means. And a month later, I enrolled in online school to become a 3D artist. And that is what I do today. So I teach with my own renderings. Um, it's actually quite unbelievable. I've listened to our recording a couple of times and I always choke up at that point because I was just in disbelief. I said, oh, an artist. Oh, yeah, I'm creative. Um, and so that was really amazing. Um you also said that my grandfather said that I would be publishing in a textbook, a medical textbook, and I'm very not into that sort of thing. I wasn't really good at research or anything like that. And then lo and behold, later that um, later that year, I got invited to write a chapter in a textbook and I really enjoyed it. So that, that also came up. And then probably the most important thing was, is my personal life was completely different than it is now. I was completely single when you met me. I mean, completely single. So I was 36 and single and I was getting worried that I wouldn't meet the guy. Well, and I don't remember that part. I remember your dog feeling prominent in the reading. Oh, that's another, as well. yeah. that's another, I, yeah. that's another wild thing. Um, they actually go together. Um, so I mentioned to you, I was single and you said through my grandfather, don't worry, someone is coming like me. He's going to take care of you. It sounded like a very masculine figure, which I've never dated someone like that before. 
And you mentioned a beard, beard or a mustache. You kept also saying um, these, this, um, the way his last name sounds, which didn't sound familiar to me back then. And when I was re-listening to it, I was like, oh, she's describing my husband, my now husband. I got married last month. I didn't know that part about the last name. Yeah, you kept saying K, K, like you're like, is it a Kathy? Is it a this? And I said, no. And it kept popping up. And then I realized, oh, it's just the same sound with a C. That's his last oh, name. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Yeah. And, but I, I distinctly remember the dog. This is mm. what I remember because I have that empathy for people. And you had said this dog spends every morning, noon, and night with me. I don't know what I would do without the dog. And I, that was the only part I really remembered. Mm. It was not until you reminded me later. Yeah. So I was coming to you worried about being single, not being able to have a family, that time was running out. You put me at ease. And then my dog jumped into the Zoom call. Yeah. And he said, oh, there's a dog there. And then I had the same breed before. And you said, mm -hmm. oh, have you, you didn't know this, of course. And you said, my grandfather was holding the same type of dog with him. So I said, oh my goodness, like that is really crazy that she knows that. And you knew things about my dog. I just don't know how you knew, but my dog hates the vet. And she was actually going in a few days. She used to get dental cleanings all the time. And she was getting older. She was 14. So I was already worried because if I lost this dog who has mm -hmm. been with me through everything and I have no family, no man, no nothing, like how am I going to survive? And you assured me, you said she is going to be around until you get settled. Mm -hmm. So she was around. I took care of her. Um, I made her homemade food, which she told you or you sense before I even told you that. And she lived until earlier that this year, she passed away in February. I, like you said, of old, old age, she was almost 16. Wow. And she waited until I was engaged and a date was set for our wedding. Wow. And I was all settled. And mm -hmm. I really, wow. and like, I, I just know she was around for that. She was just such like the ultimate companion. She was, and she loved you. Oh, love is everything. Yeah, Thank my, you for my this beautiful testimonial. Would you recommend me to other people that are skeptical? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. I am scientifically based. I do get a little woo-woo. Um, I would have never, I don't, I don't even know how I found you again because I think if it was you said Twitter, Instagram. Yeah, Instagram, <laughs> but if it was if it said medium, I probably wouldn't have booked it because I didn't know. Mm -hmm. Who I'd want to contact and I don't know why I booked with you but it turned out to be an amazing life-changing experience if anything it gave me a lot yeah. of comfort yeah um, how beautiful yeah and I'm, I'm looking forward to my next one with you oh how beautiful thank you sweetheart I really oh, you're appreciate welcome. this beautiful testimonial and um, oh. I think other people will benefit from hearing this yeah which is what I'm here to do is help people and you're here to create beautiful 3D art, it seems. Yeah, yeah. I'm showing it off now. I gave a lecture on yesterday at my old wow. workplace. 